I'm sure you guys remember uh, Pegasus is this uh, Israeli uh, piece of spyware that was developed by a company called NSO Group, and it was infamously used to, um, you know, basically the Israelis, they go around to foreign, uh, you know, they go around selling this to foreign governments, and the Saudis infamously used this to kill uh, Jamal Khashoggi. They tracked his location, they tracked his phone, and then uh, they, they, they killed him. There are other companies that are springing up um that are just like nso group as a matter of fact they are literally founded by former employees of nso group that you're not hearing a lot about in the press so i wanted to kind of go through them because th this company which is called qua dream q u a d r e a m they they have tried so hard to remain under the radar they do not even have a logo or a website nothing right but, but once again, as I said, it, it is one of many companies that, uh, you know, has emerged from this pipeline. You have, you have a, uh, basically a pipeline between um, the, this, uh, you know, private sector, uh, uh, I I Israeli private sector and, and uh, cyber weapon companies coming from the Israeli um, military. Although, to be fair, every uh, man and woman who is Israeli is in the military, but specifically from uh, Unit 8200, right? So, um, who specialize in this kind of stuff. You know, they get their pension when they're 40, 3,000 bucks a month or whatever it is now, adjusted for inflation, and then they also embark on these endeavors. And wh why this is so important is because these companies, they just to function to sell to any anyone outside of um, uh, Israel, they need permission from the Israeli uh, Defense Ministry. Okay, so so the the Israeli government knows about them and knows what they are selling. Okay, this is very clear. Um, number two, uh, if you know, if you think that this is really a private sector, I mean, you would be you would be mistaken to think about that. Think of them as such in the United States. Never mind. Uh, in Israel, because the relationship is is much much tighter. As I just mentioned, this pipeline it's a very close knit, very um uh you know very small amount of people who who are, acquire this knowledge and who know how to use it, and then basically uh know how to monetize um uh you know these cyber weapons. You know they're used to spy on journalists and spy on lawyers and overwhelmingly all the cases that you that you hear of it's never terrorists or counterterrorism it's civil society that's being targeted by mexican by the mexican government the saudi government uh, you name it right so the thing is the problem is that jamal khashoggi's murder by the saudi government drew a lot of bad press okay uh, both for the saudis and for nso group you know they got put on this list of 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 um Basically, the Biden government, you, you know, they had to uh, make a list of these companies and sanction them and so on. In their own words, right, I'll read, I'll read this to you in a minute. Um, the bad press from, from everything that, in, that ensued, uh, you know, it's caused the industry to shrink. And so some of these companies are having to close down. What a shame. Now, I'll show you in a second why that's also not true. So let me go through this um, uh, piece here. This is from... Citizen Lab. Now, Citizen Lab is at the from the University of Toronto. Uh, they are the ones who find out what um, spyware is being used. They're really at the cutting edge of all this stuff. They they are the guys uh, who are discovering the methods, um, the exploits, the the zero day exploits, and and all the other um, tools that are being used by these companies and the way that they are being used in. So here they talk about uh, Quadreams. Okay, now. Here's a company, right? As I spelt it out for you, it's basically, an, as I said, an Israeli company, and, and it was um, run by a front called uh, InReach. Now, the thing is, the, the, the reason that they, got, they were able to gather all, uh, a lot of this information is because of a, uh, basically, um, you know, a, a legal battle that's ensued between InReach and Quadream. Just to put it in a nutshell, InReach is a, a company based in Cyprus, and they were they were supposed to sell the the hacks for um, Quadream, and then they would give ninety two percent of the proceeds to Quadream. Quadream discovered that they were they were being screwed, that uh, they were not giving them the money, and pretending that uh, you know they they were not getting a client, and uh, they're they're basically trying to sue them in court. Uh, and uh, there are you know millions of dollars involved and so on. At the same time, you have uh, Facebook, which is now known as Meta, who've discovered uh, accounts 
being used on Facebook and Instagram that are linked to to Quadream, um, which, as Facebook says, is an Israeli-based company founded by former NSO employees, right? And then Microsoft also they talk about uh, an exploit called King's Pawn, which is used by Quadream. So you have Facebook, Microsoft, and Citizen Lab, you know, all talking about in their research this company Quadream using these hacks and these accounts and these exploits to try and infect. Uh, the devices of civil society, so that's lawyers, judges, uh, journalists, etc. Right now, the really interesting thing here is that if you actually go and look at um, uh, what Quadream was saying, is that you know they they were they were being affected by by um, the uh, bad press and so on from you know Pegasus and all this, and what you really find is that these guys are shutting down. Uh, or pretending to shut down their company, and then they go and make a new company, and it's really just the same guys. The people in, who work at Quadream, or, or used to, they had an office here, on the left, I, uh, with no logo, um, you know, no nothing, and uh, you can see here from Haaretz, which is an Israeli paper, uh, that this was based in um, Ramat Gan, uh, which is near to Tel Aviv. Now, I've read from several papers, including Reuters and so on, they all went to this address and tried to contact this company. They tried to email their lawyer. They tried to email, you know, tons of methods to contact them. Not a peep. Nothing. Not a word. Okay? Now, um, Hotties have a pretty good piece on this. They, uh, uh, I must say, it was, a, it was a very good piece. Unfortunately, it's not loading for some reason. But, uh, you know, everything that I've told you, it, it's, it, that's what's happening in a nutshell. Um, now... Citizen Lab, they're the ones who are, who are doing the, the, the research, right? And if you want another indicator as to why these are the same people, the exploits that they're using, so if, if you look at the actual code that's being executed by these weapons, by these cyber weapons, they are almost identical in terms of, of uh, you know, uh, functionality, functionality and also their capability. So last year, uh, you know, there, there was one hack uh, against iPhones that NSO Group was able to do with Pegasus. And, for, you know, mysteriously, Quadream were also able to do that exact same one. So this doesn't make sense because these are rivals. These companies, NSO Group and Quadream, are rivals. How is it that at the exact same, exact same time they are able to do the exact same thing? Now, yes, this, you know, this, we're not talking about, um, you know, two a, a laptop manufacturers or something that is, uh, you know, some loosely regulated uh, uh, thing. We are, we are talking about a very, very tightly regulated industry that sells cyber weapons, right? That, it, that is surveillance for hire. So how come they acquired the same capabilities at the same time? I mean, l like uh, I just told you, these are former employees. So, yes, they could have transferred the technology that way. But I can... Just, just, you know, mark my words. Quadream shut down in the last three days, okay? The reason they shut down was not because the industry is taking a hit from Biden's sanctions list and so on. It's because they got bad press. They got too much bad press. And this is the same old uh, stereotype about this furniture store that is always going broke, right? And they keep, they <laughs> every, everything's got to go because the, the store is going broke. And then, you know, you see it's the same people who work in the same store selling the same crap who pop up under a different name. Mark my words, Quadream or whatever it's called today, right, is going to pop up very, very soon. And you're going to see them under a different name. And they won't be found out yet. They won't be found out for a while because, like I said, they don't, they don't want any trace of this. And the only reason that it was able to identify them is because of that legal, uh, uh, legal battle. I think were it not for that, um, there, you know, there would have been a good chance that people just dismissed it as being, oh, it's another toolkit from... Uh, uh, you know, put out by uh, uh, NSO Group, or or it's just Pegasus.